I'm gonna go have supper quick and then I'm gonna go down and climb that silo and see how full it's getting. Now I'm gonna take the skid loader back to the other farm. We're gonna use the bucket to clean up some of the mess of silage down there and then I'm gonna climb the silo. be a bit so I rode along with another load figure I'd watch him chop a little more now what we're chopping here today is not the BMR corn which is the high digestibility stuff for the dairy cows this was actually a couple different varieties we had over here and we were planning to shell some of it changed our mind decided to just chop it all and we're gonna fill the silo at the heifers and then we're gonna put the rest up at the home farm there in the silo so the reason we don't want to feed bmr to the heifers is just because they don't need the extra digestibility and energy they can get from that type of corn so it's not worth planting it and it actually can it can make them too fat if you feed bmr to the heifers so we just grow conventional this will yield a little bit better than the bmr and it works great for heifers up here on the silo just checking it again it's getting closer each one of those rings you see there is four feet so there's a good three rings there so that's 12 feet down or so every load that gets added in now is adding extra weight so it's pushing the whole silo down a little bit so you got more space than you think oftentimes one thing with silos that's a little different is the especially at the bottom of the silo you got to get it drier than we did for the bunk like if we put it in at the same moisture we put the bunk in which was the upper 60s it would juice like crazy you'd have a lot of water and silage juices flowing out for a while and so we wanted more like 60 on the bottom or it's actually a little drier than that even some of the stuff we put on the bottom here at least five more loads yet get another load in here yet there's a good amount of space over there but I can't really direct it too well it all wants to go to the left side here so I'm just gonna get it as full as I can
the we had filled the silo here at the heifer farm we moved up to the home farm then put a bunch in that silo and then came back down here and put two loads in this silo to top it off and now this morning we want to get these silos set up get them working so back in the blower up here now the reason we're hooking this up with corn silage you got to be careful because for the first few days after you harvest it'll create a gas and it can be very dangerous so this is our old blower it's pretty junky but it works good as a fan so we're just going to run this for a little while and blow air up through there and clear out the gases before we go up into the silo but there's a little bit of green gas coming out of the silo right there. Definitely don't want to be in there until that's out. gonna come up the inside ladder it goes up on the outside of them doors and he's gonna open up those top two there <laughs> and then we just gotta fork this level here neck up here and the cords right here plug that in and now I want to take this chain here that's hooked up to the one of the cable right there it keeps the whole thing from turning I'm gonna chain that on here yet
where this evening's feeding for the heifers. I'm gonna head down the silo chute now. So now as we move our way down the silo, these doors, they, they go like this the whole way down through. So you gap the whole way down the chute there. And we'll just move that gooseneck down to the next door. Every, every time that the feed comes down enough, she's gotta climb up here every couple weeks. Okay, got the silo working. Now we gotta do the same thing up at the other silo that we filled. But we're not gonna do it right now because I gotta milk cows. We'll do it later. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching.